Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a quick lesson for you today. We're going to learn how to play Penny Royalty by Nirvana from their Unplugged uh, session. Um, now, this one is, in, is tuned down a half step, um, so I'm going to have those notes in the description, uh, but if you don't know what that is, low E string, E flat, and then A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. That, those will be in the description as well. All right, so let's take a look at this. Kind of a unique chord progression that he uses for the, the intro and the verse sections. It starts with an A minor. So that's just, uh, if you don't know what an A minor is, uh, you can check out all these open position chords, all these basic chords at guitarlessons365.com. Uh, or I'll run you through it real quick here. First fret there on the B, second fret on the G, and the D. And you're gonna strum the open A and the high E with it. Then we go to a G major chord. Now this is the G major version of the G major chord that has the open B string. So you don't have the third fret on both the B and the high E. It's then he has a little fill which is just goes two, three, zero on the low E string. But now when we go back to repeat the A chord, instead of it being an A minor, it's an A major chord. So he usually liked to play his A chords like this. He'll play the um, open A string, second fret barred with the uh, for index finger across the uh, D and the G, and then he plays the B string there with his middle finger, the second fret. Back to that G. And then that fill again. All right, so it's just this all together. So I'm just going down, like down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. But you'll find throughout the song, he's being a little bit more dynamic with it, and he'll just start picking individual strings, kind of arpeggiated picking them. And that's, that's pretty random, so you just need to be able to put the chord shape in your hand and just kind of lightly, delicately pick across the strings. All right, so when he gets to the verse, when his vocals first come in out of that intro, um, he doesn't play any of the notes on the B string, and those notes are what determine whether it's minor or major. So it's pretty much just picking across, just all to the G string there. So they open A and then when you pick the strings individually, it's just really across the A, D, and the G. So you can pretty much hold either one of these chords you want, A minor, A major, it doesn't matter, because you're not hitting that B string. Back to the G, he still keeps it pretty low on the G. Still did that little fill, and then back to the A power chord. This is an A5 chord since it doesn't have a, a third in it. Those notes on the B string would be in the third, so. And then back to the G. And it, it starts building up that G when he's going to the chorus. And the chorus is a little bit easier to understand. It looks like this. So that's just a C major bar chord. I'm trying to play these kind of like Kirk Cobain, Kirk Cobain did. So that's the um, the uh, third fret there on the A, and the fifth fret across the uh, D, G, and the B. Then you just take that shape up to the fifth fret, 
and then just move everything over one string or up one string and then move it to the sixth fret. But here you're just going to strum the three bottom strings. So it's a B flat power chord. So six on the low E and eight on the A and the D. A little bit more aggressive picking on that chord as well. So we have this that C. And he gets that B flat. Now you'll hear him sometimes when he plays this C chord, he'll actually have his index finger across uh, the low E string, holding that third fret on the low E as well. So you'll hear that note in there as well, so you can play it. It kind of fills up the sound a bit. So it's a pretty straightforward chorus um, if you know how to play simple bar chords. All right, now the verse uh, number two comes back in, and once again we have that A minor first. To the G. Now the A major. And the G. And once again we go back through the exact same chorus again. And, and then we have the very last verse. This is when he slightly pauses before the, the third verse. And when he plays the chord progression in there, he doesn't start with an A minor this time. He plays an e, A major each time. So no A minor to begin, just A to G. A to G again. All right, so from there, he goes, you can just go through the, the chorus again and everything. Um, and then we're gonna get to the outro section, which is the only different part here. And he, at the very end of the song, you'll hear him strumming an A sus two chord. So you'll hear that the first chord, he's really strumming an A minor chord a little bit, the same picking pattern to end the song, just strumming out. But when he first hits it, he doesn't have the note on the uh, B string yet. So just have the open B string. And then add that first fret. I'm not sure if he does the full strum on it, just hits it one, then goes a the chord, I can't quite remember, but. But he does then bring it back up, to just put the index finger down, you have that full A minor, and just kind of strum it out to the end of the song. All right, so it's pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.